Uh, scoreboard hasn't updated. Let's update. Okay. This is our second set of the day in the group stage of Magna Carta, and we have ACCM here in the blue against El Nonero, who is a uh, Polish roughly 2k1-ish, I think, player. Um, played for the Polish team in Battle of Africa 3. Uh, and uh, we have Ethiopians versus Tatars on Acclivity. So range opening for both players. So we'll see mirrored strategy. Just archers being produced so far. I was kind of expecting spears as well, but no, El Nonero is instead going for double range. You mean Polish Lithuanian? Uh, not at this time. I mean, we're playing a medieval game, so we should be talking medieval, right? When I was a little salami, my older brother tricked me into believing he could fart on command. Dark periods. Okay, so El Nero has taken a slight lead in arch numbers. Had a couple of downhill hits there against ACCM's scout. And so should take the lead in this fight, but... He's going to lose the scout first. Both lose their scouts. That's really, really big. <laughs> and now with both players on two range archer production, they are going to start mixing in skirmishes. El Nero takes the hill, but is down on archers. <laughs> I can make JB sing on command. You go, JB. No. Okay, so the archers from El Nero run away from the skirmishers, trying to snipe the archer, don't manage it. JV is rapping, which is basically singing. <laughs> JV is not rapping or singing. No, no, no. Okay, and the front of ACCM's base, wide open. These archers can run into the wood line. ACCM is going to respond by trying to chase it down with villagers. The skirms are here and will pick off the archers. I managed to pick off skirmishers as well. El Nero, nine, mil 10 military to three. This is a really, really solid start. I just realized when I was younger, I used to have a stream. There's going to be the new, when I was younger, I was in a band dad story. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. You could do one of those ridiculous edited AoE song videos. Uh, I'm not inclined to do so at the moment. I'd have to learn how to use like an auto tuner or something like that. Uh, ACCM now being forced into a third range. Uh, a, the positioning here just gives a little bit more protection to the woodline. Uh, Oh, the skirmishers have dived in. The villagers have built a house here. The skirmishers now need to just try and pick off the skirms of ACCM and then try and do some damage to the villagers. ACCM has more HP <laughs> on a Nero. Nice try there, trying to snipe the farm. Uh, shouldn't really get any actual damage on the villagers here. Although with Acclivity, this is really, really open at the back here. So ACCM could group up archers and then go and do some significant damage to ACCM's woodline still. All the while, El Nonero's eco has taken very, very little damage. I swear Farm Snipe is the biggest dick move in AOE 2. <laughs> I mean, have you seen T90's, um, what's it called, the most annoying strat of 2022 or something like that? The most annoying player. Uh, that's that's pretty, 
<laughs> yeah, that's horrendous. Okay, El Nero up 40 seconds ahead of ACCM. I haven't seen it. Do watch it. Yeah, just Beery being Beery. Exactly that. It's, it's very funny as a neutral to watch. I'm sure like being involved in that game would be so, so infuriating. Um, however, watching it, it it's, it's peak AoE too. I want I want Biri to enter the next Master of Socotra tournament and just do what Biri does. Okay, so El Nero is playing this a bit risky, in my opinion. He can see the ACCM has the three ranges. It's sticking. Oh no, there's a third one at the back. Oh, okay. He needs to be careful about losing track of ACCM's army. Does pick up a village on the woodline though. Good snipe. ACCM now grouping up his army. And Biri, uh, El Nero, sorry, Biri is his teammate, I believe. Uh, El Nero is up first and is now going to try and fight this. Why not stand on top of the hill? He's going to wait for upgrades instead. Crossbone Bodkin will be uh, an advantage here. ACCM is getting crossbow, bodkin, and elite skirm. Eleven skirmishers mixed in here. El Nero should be building a university. Is instead going for a second TC. A university would be massive in this engagement for me. El Nero heading forward. That is open. The villagers walked out there, so these crossbows could easily go into the woodline here. Uh, El Nero is going to go for Elite Scam as well. That's a little bit further behind. And ACCM did manage to loop back to the woodline here and picks off four villagers in total between the woodline and the farms. Seed Workshop at home for... ACCM. No university for either player. Uh, can I ban someone and get unban requests? Just check if it's working since it would appear we don't have any unban requests and I doubt I've unbanned all the people I banned. <laughs> Personally, if someone has the ability to farm lane me, then fair play. <laughs> I I've got no real issue with it. Oh, the villagers running back into the crossbows. ACCM happily sits there and picks off another one. There are now the elite skirms here, as well as crossbows. And El Nero brings back all of his army to deal with it. Skirms coming in on the right hand side, and skirms coming in on the left. 21 skirms for ACCM. El Nero is trying to rack up numbers as quickly as possible. Best thing I think here is to fight this army on the left and then go back to the right. The left had more crossbows in. The right is just skirms. And as that army is now disappearing, now come back. Don't get dragged out because ACCM is coming forward with a mangonel. Oh, and the pathing. The villagers, the units all gathered together by the house. Takes a shot to the face. Manages to escape for the time being. On the right... El Nero's reinforcements are coming there, so will in engage themselves in that fight. El Nero has university and is getting ballistics now. Struggle of laming is far worse. <laughs> uh, well, can I interest you in T90's video of him versus Biri? <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's fun to watch. That's one, four, and two, yeah. <laughs> Apparently there will be $500 Empire Earth tournament on 1st of October. Nice! What about spawning on an island the size of a screen with Hoyo? Huh? I... 
Oh, with Yo. It was fun. We Vill fought. He won. Oh, okay. We literally Vill Ward for 10 minutes. Oh, Hoyo is a very aggressive player. Oh, okay. How's your Australian accent getting along? Uh, it's not. I am sticking with my English one. If anything, I'm going more British. Just because I want to make a point. Although the football team I joined already had a uh, British guy on there. So they, they haven't really been making any uh, jokes or comments or anything like that. So yeah, I kind of escaped that, which is nice. Like he warded in my Dockville, then started trying to batter down my Dock, so I warded in his Ville, and then he tried to wall in my Woodline. Nice. I have no issue with things like that, really. I think I've got to a place mentally where I just laugh at that. Oh, it's hilarious. Good. I'm glad. It's fudgy. Football, damn, when all I do is inline skating. Good for you, Lohab. Uh, yeah, I've got a little bit of an injury at the moment, so I'm hoping that that gets a little bit better and I can get back to training. It was a commie game, to be fair. Nice. Commie red alert. <laughs> okay, so the skirms are going to chase to the right. I think El Nero could consider now going back into crossbows. ACCM is adding a second TC at home, potentially to give a little bit of protection to a wood line, but I don't think it does that. And El Nero, ah, words. El Nero coming forward with a siege workshop of their own. Skirm still continuing to chase on the right hand side. Should see the Manganel there. <clears throat> oh, even better choice from El Nero. I Instead of going back into crossbows, he's going to go into cav archers. I think that's definitely the right choice. Third, third TC? Third, no, second. Second TC for El Nero at the back there. Protecting the uh, gold. Ballistics only just coming in for ACCM. Managing to split that army away from the Manganel shot. Uh, here, ACCM is just trying to get as good a value as possible with that army. Does manage to snipe one of the villagers. Uh, but the army does get cleaned up. El Nero continuing with Elite Skirm. I think now would be a perfectly acceptable time to go Cav Archers. Like you've got Manganels on the field, so if ACCM does mix in Skirms, Manganels can deal with that pretty well. El Nero's micro has been very good so far. I'd say, thankfully, as the Manganel misses here. Uh, although... Maybe not. Uh, Manganel's firing on the right. Both managing to dodge some of the shots. El Nero picks off one at the front and picks off the one on the right. Keeps it his alive. That is big. Although ACCM does have the Siege Workshop here with a, another in already. And is moving out on the left hand side with his army and a Manganel. Okay, ACCM does push back to the one on the right. I don't know, skirmishers get flattened again. Loads of skirms out for El Nero. I really do want to see the move into. Uh, Cavarches. Just the mobility here, I think, would be really helpful. Ooh, just about avoids a killing shot there on the Manganels. Will run away. Does manage to keep alive. 
He needs to be careful. Dies. ACCM keeps his alive. ACCM's army, though, is about to come back in on the wood line. Oh, on the gold. The villagers start running away. They should all die because of ballistics. But... Because of one fill pathing, two managed to escape. Not the end of the world for Elmer Nero. Floating a lot of gold, has a gold pile on the right that he can continue taking, and has the gold at the back that is protected by this TC. Hey Liam, welcome, welcome. I hope you'll be pleased with this Oz friendly stream time. As someone who lives in ex socialist country, I'll remain silent. Fair enough, Lohab. Manganel fights on the right, uh, or the back of El Nero's base, El Nero losing to a Manganel on the hill. And ACCM lost two Rangers, is producing one in the middle of his base, ready. El Nero managing to kill ACCMs keeps his alive. Uh, Lohab can confirm all the cool kids are here, so yeah, do come over. ACCM adding a sneak third TC on the left hand corner. Again, secure gold income for the time being. And it's going to go on to stone. <laughs> Bear attacking. Can I come too? Of course, NASA. Uh, actually, yeah, that's a good point. Liam, Liam asks a good question. Okay, so Rangers for ACCM. Going to try and get the mass back up. Uh, El Nero. Has kind of halted production for the moment. Way ahead in military numbers. Picks off one for one on the Manganels. Let's pick between Path of Country and Sandy High Level Corruption where I can do where I want on a prison. I'd rather pick Path of Country. I mean, does it help if it was a former prison? Both. Okay, everything kind of seems to have settled down a little bit. There is some skirms in the Manganel on the right. Manganel coming across for ACCM, I expect, will do that. Uh, and El Nero will have to run away with these skirms. Elonero still has a decent mass of skirmishers and has five mangonels. This could be doing so much damage pressuring at the front. Skirmishers running away from ACCM's army for the time being. Prison Islands, part of the Prison Island. <laughs> and both players trying to get up to Imperial Age. El Nero clicks up first. And manages to just about take the Manganel down with him. Uh, with his own. Uh, the Seed Workshop on the hill has been denied. ACCM ready to drop a castle somewhere. It's going to be on the left to protect Eco. Scams have managed to sneak in on the left. Should get a villager. They do. <laughs> 
Is that the team Adam Johnson plays for? <laughs> Skirms at the back here will clean up everything from El Nonero, uh, from ACCM. And El Nonero is still just sticking with skirmishes and Manganaus. Might be Saul's Dumpsters, but still has accommodation. And there will be El Nonero's castle in the centre of the map. This is a nice position to treb into ACCM space and El Nero is going to go into cavalry no stables this is it just going to be Keshex okay it's a stable coming up on the right and <laughs> Show tells for ACCM. I love show tells. I just don't think they're the answer here. And show tells raiding ACCM's base. Uh, sorry, El Nero's base. El Nero going for watchtowers to help defend the Zico at the back. And the crossbows come in, and we'll pick off most of these. All of these. Most of these villagers on the stone. And the show tells die to TC fire. Meanwhile, a flood of scams moving forward. Kashix now out. Oh, the mangonel shop was going to hit it. Crossbows are coming to the wood line at the back here. El Nero does react. Loses one, two. Three. Meanwhile, Showtel's raiding the farming eco. Trail of Vils back to the TC there. Oof. And El Nonero just doesn't have the eco to produce much in the way of cavalry. I feel like Showtel's is only good for the eagles, maybe some of the infantry. Uh, they're amazing versus buildings, from what I can remember. Not that you'll be using them to do so very often. They're so squishy, I imagine Skirms deal with them fine. The, their advantage is they've got really high damage output. And they're fast. And they, with Royal Airs, produce really fast. But they, they produce fast anyway. Royal Airs is unnecessary. They're good at raiding, yes. They, I just don't... Rams Under Your Castle is the perfect example of when to use show tells. I, I don't like... You're unnecessary. <laughs> Fact. They are glass cannon raiders. Yeah. Like, I really hate conks as a raiding unit. Just because they're not cheap. Yeah. Only good at raiding exposed areas. Awful versus TCs in their numbers. Agreed. I said conks, I mean um, condottieros. Karambit's a perfect raiding unit. Change my mind. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, so Skirms will come and deal with these arbs. Conks are great, conks are great at raiding because they can run away. Yes, you are correct. I meant condos. I don't like condos being used as raiding units. Nero just sat here taking ACCM's woodline. Feels quite ballsy. I hate any presumably raiding unit that requires micro. I find condos to be fine when you're doing fast imp. But I think if you're doing fast imp, you don't have the eco to afford condo spam. Should 
shows us. See, like, th this is where the likes of uh, Showtails, Karambits, can't think what else. Condor's great if you're Malian with an Italian ally. Yeah, I agree there. Then Condos are fine. But yeah, th this is what Showtails should be used for. In which case, they don't need Royal Airs. It's a silly tech. ACCM is pushing back up the hill here. And what does... What happens from here, I think? ACCM can just continue pushing this. This is a big mass of ARBs. And while El Nero is producing skirms, there's lots of skirms queued up. Bank of food is running low. It's going to add some... Uh, farms on the right. Hey, this. What is the actual score? Two nil. Uh, it's nil nil in this one. This is the first game. Uh, I forgot to put this as play all three. There we go. Um, yeah, this is this is the actual score. Uh, but th this has been good game so far. Hey, we'll see. Good go. But I think the momentum shift here came from El Nero trying to go as another opponent for ACCM. Yes, we have ACCM doubleheader and then Dark versus Kingston. Uh, but yeah, I, th I think El Nero trying to shift into Keshix was a misplay. Oh, no bloodlines and no second armor. Ooh, okay. That might have been the misplay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I... I CA would have been the logical one at the time. Uh, but the presumably GG G -G gets caught. Uh, ACCM just able to hold, drop back to the castle, shred back El Nero's forward position, and then continue pushing across the map. Uh, the Shotel raids in the south here. Doing lots of damage to Vital Wood Eco. Uh, and yeah, ACCM takes the first game. Five K more resources collected for ACCM. Even though they had comparable build counts all the way through. It was only with that raiding at the end. And here we go, game number two. Left him at the pub. Yes, that would always be an option. Could have left him in England. I could have. Anyway, game number two here we have Cumans for ACCM against Lithuanians for El Nero. That says Kawasan. Uh, map with ponds on either side with plenty of fish. Uh, and my laptop is overheating far too often of late. I'm alone, definitive edition. <laughs> El Monero wins the scout fight in the centre. Uh, yes, we got these berries in the middle. Sorry, I'm just going to prop my laptop up so that I can try and get some circulation underneath it. I'm going to have to buy a replacement uh, thingy, my Bob. Laptop stand. Home Alone Down Under, it's just a kid fending, <laughs> having to fend off Australian wildlife. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so double range opening for ACCM. Easy to do with Cumans because their uh, production buildings are cheaper. Then we've got single range, single stable for El Nero. Uh, standard external fan for me works a treat. Hello, Paradox. I hope you're doing well, mate. Came across many huntsmen yet. Not yet. However, there's uh, where I, where my team has been playing football recently because they're in the uh, semi-finals of their cup. Well, they're now in the grand final of their cup the, this Sunday. Uh, I can't play yet because I'm not registered because I came too late. Uh, but anyway, uh, I was 
I walked through a little bit of kind of bushes to get to where I next to the dugout to watch. Oh no 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 soccer soccer sorry soccer. Um, yeah, to get to the dugout where the teams were and stand next to it and chat with them during it. Um, went th through these bushes and then only afterwards did we see it saying uh, like Huntsman's territory. Like uh, no, no, not going in there again. Never going in there again. JB, you should make a great goalkeeper. I'm an okay goalkeeper. I wouldn't say great. I don't want to. I don't want to play in goal either. I prefer to play in defence. But yes, I want to avoid places with huntsmen, etc., as much as possible. Okay, so in these early raids, El Nero losing uh, two villagers. Lee Griffiths is playing in a state league in Oz. Nice. So ACCM added in the stable is getting forging. Scouts come in here to help against the skirmishers. Manjura City. I don't know who the fuck they are. Nor do I. I don't even know what state that's in. Okay, so Western Australia. Ah, uh, okay. We have both players having docked the left-hand pond. Is Huntsman a spider? Yes. A very poisonous one. That's relatively big, I think. So yeah, I plan to stay well away. May I get a scientific name? Not from me. Huntsmans aren't venomous at all. They are pets. Oh, okay. Then they're just massive, and I'm not going anywhere near them. I'm, I, d I don't want to go anywhere near any spiders in Australia. Just in case. They have enough that will try and kill me, so... No. Okay, so El Nero fighting back with villagers manages to do so successfully and has picked off two of ACCMs. I think I must have got that the wrong way around. So he, El Nero killed two of ACCMs early on and now. Oh, it was Funnel Webs. Okay, it was Funnel Webs that was the warning for the area of bush where my team played football. It's Funnel Webs habitat. Yeah, that, not going anywhere near it. Like, they wouldn't warn about Huntsman's if they're not poisonous. Funnel webs aren't that big. Irrelevant. If they're poisonous, not for me. Just take your cat with you, she'll eat the spiders. Yeah, but they might kill her, and I don't want that. Uh, Nessa by cat also means my dog. And the scouts here doing significant damage for ACCM. There is a spearman out. Uh, so pushes the scouts away, keeps the skirms alive. Archers have to run away. I heard kids are great at eating random stuff. Low hab, I am not going to use my baby as a way of keeping spiders away. No. ACCM building a market at the back? Is this to try and sell stone and get up quicker? How is the wee one doing? He's good. He's doing well. He's getting very giggly and uh, just like engaging with us all the time, which is lovely. Archers being sent to the front here. Skirmishers sat behind. We'll pick them off. <laughs> and ACCM dives back in for all this gold. El Nero is on the way to the Castle Age first. 
I found an area I can get walls up soon. It could be dangerous for ACCM. ACCM is going to click up shortly. We'll be about a minute behind. There we go. Yeah, just over a minute behind. And actually, with the idle time that ACCM's had, he is behind on Vils. So if El Nero is able to hold this, we'll take the lead. ACCM is in to El Nero's base with a couple of scouts. And they make it to the woodline. Needs to fight with the villagers. Scams will chase the archers back on the right hand side. There is a second scout. Everyone just on stand ground. <laughs> I love that. Uh, so the scouts dive in on the skirms. The skirms should split apart and try and kill them quickly. Uh, Bloodlines is on the way. And the scout escapes. Meanwhile, on water, Elna Nero has won the pond on the left. And now producing knights. ACCM double stable will probably go for knight and camel mix. And El Nero is heading forward with two villagers. Seed workshop. Or normally you try and TC the center, it's gonna go for a monastery. Okay, ACCM sees the knights from El Nero, sees the double stable, and it will be continuing in archers for the moment. I like Fast Monastery. I like it too. Um, I'm assuming El Nero saw the stables, sees one stable because obviously the scouts. We'll see the second and it will kind of solidify that decision. And a few spears are here, but the skirms should be able to pick them off. Crossbow and Bodkin now in for ACCM. If he realises he has those archers, the crossbow is sat at the back there. Could just come and sit out of range, and I think that's exactly what he's going to do. Presumably, players in at this stage will be using the range mod. They will literally just sit out of range of the tower. Oh, it's just in range. Could just sit one more tile back. Range mod. I know, but if people, other people are going to use it, why wouldn't you? Meanwhile, in the center, El Nero is slightly winning this engagement. Camels out for ACCM means El Nero is going to have to pull back into where the monks can contribute. Because you're awesome and cool. It's a, it's a massive benefit to have. Like, I don't think it should be in the game, but it is, so therefore I'll use it. I know, Nessa. I am a terrible terrible person conversion comes in picks off the camel second camel before it can run away heretic yes okay four relics for el nero and that is super beneficial to lithuanians as they get plus one attack per relic And the monks trying to convert the crossbows into their die. And now knights will clean this up. The camels not able to do enough damage to the knight. Knights now diving on the monks. Get the snipe before conversions can come in. And the Nero trying to just continue knight production. He's trying to add a third stable now. On 22 villagers, no wheelbarrow. Probably can't quite afford it. Look how fast the camels die to knights there. Camels are genuinely considered uh, are a counter unit here. <laughs> Apparently they are venomous, the spiders. I thought huntsmen were venomous. Okay, 
Elnonero needs to group up his knights a little bit more. He's outmassed here. Uh, camels do produce faster, so easier to mass. And now taking the fight under the tower shifts the momentum back towards Elnonero. Why isn't Elnonero adding monks? Uh, I agree. It would be a good addition. Um, I guess going triple stable. Resources are kind of stretched a bit thin at the moment. Trying to get attack upgrades as well. Ugh. 10 plus 5 attack within 20 minutes. Yeah, 22 minutes. Conversion does come in for ACCM. El Nero will likely lose this monastery. If he doesn't, he will lose uh, the relics shortly. ACCM is going to lose the monks, though. Numbers advantage here for El, uh, ACCM. ACCM mixing in knights as well. Has to take the fight just to save the monastery. But... That is the end of his army. ACCM recognising that he's slightly ahead now. Going out to add second TC. And now... El Nero still has slightly better knights because he has the second armour. Uh, but with camels mixed in, should be ACCM's fights here. Uh, ACCM will then go for a third TC. And yeah, just sit here, force fights, take out production. Elon Air is just trying to bait ACCM back in towards this tower. So he has a little bit of an advantage. ACCM not taking it. Did add a monastery at home, gets a conversion on one of the knights. Is that the earlier converted knight? Is it? I think it was generic. ACCM just going to continue to sit here with military take out production buildings. And El Nero kind of house wall into the monastery. Then can jump out with monks. ACCM stealing all of the monks, uh, all of the relics that El Nero had collected in the centre. El Nero with two more stables on the right hand side, but isn't producing from them. Trying to add spears as well. Needs probably a bit more than spearmen at this point. ACCM maintaining... Just double stable? No. And third stable somewhere. Ah, there it is. Sorry, just being blind. Hello everyone. Hello Dakota. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Spears smash, pick off the monk. Big, big fight here. Numbers advantage for El Nero. But HP advantage for ACCM. And ACCM with the camels will take slightly better fights. And the GG gets scored. That's why they're often large and hairy appearance. Hunting spiders are not considered to be dangerous spiders. I don't like spiders anyway. Australia has killy things. I don't want to be near killy things. And I don't know enough to know what's a huntsman and what's not. <laughs> uh, okay, end of second game. 2-0 to ACCM. Uh, very, very even that one. 
I think just that one particularly bad fight, uh, El Nero losing a little bit of sense of control, uh, meant they had to take a fight at a time where I think he knew he was going to lose. Eco fairly comparable. Okay. Okay. Game number three. Well, yep. We're good. Right, we are on Atacama. ACCM as the Magyars. El Nero as the Bulgarians. Both opening with stables. Bulgarians feel slightly weird to open stables, although I guess this is their advantage. They have cheaper blacksmith techs. So it can go straight into getting the attack upgrade. Probably get the defense upgrade shortly after as well. Uh, no, have getting a Kubra hat, kangaroo skin. Uh, I do plan to get an Akubra hat, because obviously being English, I am going to melt when it starts to get warm here. Uh, so yeah, a hat is necessary. And yeah, Akubra is a kind of like quintessentially Australian, although it feels wrong to use the word quintessential for anything that's not British. Great hats, yeah. So yeah, fairly kind of predictable starts here, both uh, second stable coming in for ACCM. El Nero has a lot of wood floating. I'd like to see a few extra farms added in by this point. Uh, have you been watching Nessa? <laughs> What's your expertise on the World Championship, JB? If you mean the Chess World Championship, not a lot. You better have a pair of Blundstone boots as well. I don't know what they are. Oh, World well, Cycling, I see. Uh, no, I haven't. Great working boot. For yard trades. Uh, yeah, I won't need them. <laughs> Wires crossed. No worries. Okay, so very uh, much earlier, Bloodlines for El Nero Has some scouts at the back here. Tries to dive on the villager. Doesn't manage to get it. Will run away. And those scouts can fight another time. So I'm going to move to Melbs in like two, three years though. Save up to buy in Queensland. Nice! <laughs> Yard work, surely. Uh, no, I'm my wife and I are starting our own business. Um, exclamation mark Magna. Uh, we are sponsoring this tournament, in fact. Uh, we'll be doing content creation of any variety, really. Um, my wife is a professional journalist uh, and newspaper editor. Uh, so she'll be doing any written-based content, uh, like uh, ghost writing, blog posts, etc., or content writing, or press releases, or even some freelance journalism. Uh, and I will be doing kind of anything else. Uh, so we will be offering uh, website creation, design, etc., uh, video editing some graphic design and yeah anything else you may need we will find a way to get it sorted and jb is a teacher so he just presents stuff and act like he knows stuff exactly lohab what is good all hey strode welcome welcome uh chainsawing down branches and stuff like that i we're going to be living on the central coast it's not a like big property style area there they exist um But yeah, I can't envisage us going into that style of, or needing to do that style of work on our property. We're living with in-laws at the moment, so definitely don't need it. Big, big scout fight in the centre. ACCM did have Bloodlines complete. Armour is in for El Nero, 
And El Nero will not take the fight. He's going to run into some spearmen instead. Loses a f lot of HP unnecessarily. Damn, you won't see many snakes or spiders then. That is the best reason not to do that you've come up with. Or anyone can come up with. And ACCM manages to trap in five scouts from El Nero. They go down and the GG presumably does get caught. <laughs> nice traps like that. But yeah, that leaves ACCM with 10 scouts, 5 spears, and just the 3 4 scouts for El Nero. Uh, yeah. That, that, yeah, it's, it's game over. It snowballs from there. The scouts from ACCM can get in and do too much damage. Okay. That is 3-0 again for ACCM.